small donation can make a world of difference in someone's life, especially for our troops overseas. That's why Mark Richard is making it his mission to get as many books to them as possible. But he needs your help, our help. Let's make that all of us. Mark joins us now with more about his book donation drive. Nice to have you with us this morning. Thanks for taking the time to come in. Well, thanks for having me, Roxanne. I really appreciate the opportunity. What gave you the idea? Are you a veteran? Yes, I am. I uh, spent nine years in the U.S. Army. I graduated from the Military Academy in 1980. Uh, but we had a request through our corporate uh, headquarters, I'm part of the Postal Connections franchise, and uh, Master Sergeant Sherilyn Hayliger, stationed at Bagram Air Force Base mm -hmm. in Afghanistan, uh, had received books in the past, and she started a little library there for soldiers and airmen in their downtime to, to go ahead and be able to read. So, uh, again, I know just how uh, important that downtime is and things to fill that downtime. How desperate was it sometimes with uh, absolutely nothing around to read or look at? Uh, it can get pretty boring if, uh, if you don't have things to, to fill those hours. Time on mission is, uh, of course, always pretty intense, but uh, after missions are are done and you've gone through your after actions, uh, there can be a lot of time just waiting. And you have connections to get these books to all branches of the military? Yes, we do. Um, we uh, are actually also part of another effort up in Vero Beach, the uh, Military Moms Prayer Group. And they send off care packages to soldiers, uh, sailors that are stationed overseas with an Indian River County connection. So we have their list uh, as well as uh, Master Sergeant Hayliger her information and so we, we send them out we sent out over 800 care packages wow, that's really nice from, that's so generous okay you want books for men and women yes we like uh, action adventure romance mysteries uh, biographies history historical fiction any of those will work I'm sure books that uh, can help service members escape just kind of think about something totally other than what they're doing absolutely and you want paperbacks they're easy to mail. yes please they're easy to mail and they're lighter weight and we're gonna put them in these priority mail mailing boxes and uh, that's the most effective and efficient way of getting them over there and uh, we're gonna just you know take care of our men and women in uniform how many books do you want your goal? We will take as many as you can give us. We're shooting for at least, uh, you know, at least 50. We're about halfway there right now. We have 25. So if we can get 50, that'd be great. If we get more, we're happy to ship them off. We've got everybody. I mean, we can do a little housekeeping right now. Find those paperbacks that you just don't want and send them to... Postal Connections, <laughs> 1275 U.S. Highway 1, Suite 2 in Vero Beach, Florida, 32960. Or you can drop by the store. Uh, we have a bin where we're collecting them as well. So, Perfect. again, thank you so much thank for the you. opportunity, Roxanne. Thank you for your service as well. We appreciate what you've done you're and welcome. how you're continuing to help others in the military who are doing what they can to keep us safe. Thank you so much.